as third party graphics card manufacturers constantly try to outdo themselves to create the best graphics cards you can buy, they do more and more interesting stuff to try and stay ahead of the competition. And the latest graphics card to go above and beyond in that category is the ASRock RX 6900 XT formula, which uses specially binned GPUs to perform the best it possibly can. So as you can probably expect, they're gonna be sold out instantly because third party manufacturers already are struggling to get enough GPUs from people like AMD or Nvidia. But now that you have people like ASRock only buying super highly binned specific GPUs for these graphics cards, yeah, there's gonna be like no supply of those anytime soon. But at least when there will be, you can expect some pretty decent performance and the card does have quite a few things going for it. Because with a rated boost clock of 2475 megahertz, it's definitely one of the fastest, if not the fastest, RX 1600 XD on the market. So you can expect to get quite a few extra FPS from it compared to other companies offerings for the graphics card. And the IO, well the IO is uh, decent, but it only has one HDMI. And I will continue to point out until current generation graphics cards stop doing it. Because there's going to be a lot of people for whom only one HDMI is not going to be enough. And almost no one actually needs three display ports. Now I know I'm doing it because it actually costs more money to have an HDMI port at the back. So they usually just have one token one because, you know, most graphics cards need it. But come on, <laughs> you're already charging so much for it. I bet another HDMI port wouldn't hurt at all. And as you can expect from current generation cards, it's thick. It's triple slot, but what's interesting is that it only uses up two PCIe brackets, even though it extends over the third one, and seeing how it's already rated for a 300 watt TDP, I would have imagined that they would have at least used a third PCIe bracket to basically have another exhaust at the back. And looks wise, while I know looks are pretty subjective, and while I could for example say I hate it, another person would say that this is more beautiful than the Mona Lisa, but how do I say this without sounding like an absolute hipster? Uh, I like the minimalism of it, it kind of looks like an Nvidia card by way of an AMD card, if that makes any sense at all. Whatever, it's just fine. But let me know what you think of this graphics card and if you're gonna be picking one up yourself. It's definitely one of the better RX 6900 XTs out there, but it doesn't go as far with its cooling as some of the other ones, like this ASUS one I recently covered, which I highly recommend you check out. It's gonna be up in the iCards. I always forget what the iCards are, but you should check it out anyway because it's an awesome video. So thermals can be a bit problematic, especially seeing how far they push it. But if you have good enough ventilation in your case, you should be fine. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out my Patreon because in one dollar a month gets a long way in helping my channel and allows me to make way better videos along with videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love to thank my patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs and Meg Sumner. Thank you guys so so much, your support truly means a lot and helps the channel so so much. Down in the video description below you also find a Discord server where I'm hosting an art contest so you can maybe see your art appear on official of my merch, so definitely check that out if you're an artist. Also our Amazon socials links for a decent power supply that could actually be able to run this graphics card, plus our old custom Sophia link, plus our social media links, that's a lot of links and they're all awesome so you should definitely check them out. But anyway that's about it so I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, goodbye.